Hi, my name is Susan Anderson. I'm a Zen teacher in Monroe, Wisconsin. In the summer of 2019, a group of five of us did an eight week course in mindfulness for the students and teachers at Copper Lakes and Lincoln Hills, a juvenile correction facility north of Wausau, Wisconsin. These children are behind bars, not only because of the crimes they committed, but because of poverty, abuse, mental health issues, involvement in the child welfare system, and at least 90% had experienced significant ongoing childhood trauma. At the core of violent youth, says trauma expert David Crenshaw, is a great deal of grief that has never been supported or even acknowledged. The children at Lincoln Hills were at times defiant, disruptive, disrespectful on the surface, but beneath that was a lot of hopelessness, despair, fear, and depression. I remember one young person in particular who spent a lot of the class resisting us and what we were doing. Yet, when we announced it was our last week, they burst into tears and hugged the volunteer next to them with real anguish that we were leaving. When we were asking students to say three positive things about themselves, it was heartbreaking to see that some of them couldn't think of one single thing. So low was their feeling of self-worth. Many told us one of the worst things for them was being separated from their families who lived far away and could not afford to visit often. It was hard, they said, to form authentic and supportive relationships with other students in the facility. There was always a need for hypervigilance. Don't let your guard down. They worried about getting in trouble again with their old friends when they were released from the facility, since they could no longer have the stable relationship with the people who were good influences and mentors in the community. So what if we use the 812 thousand dollars per year it costs to incarcerate a single female at Copper Lakes or the 343,000 per year for a male juvenile at Lincoln Hills to instead support their families in whatever ways they needed to thrive before anyone got in trouble and was incarcerated. Locking up children is an ineffective solution and looks at only the tip of the iceberg. We need to address the mass of the iceberg by investing in their families and communities before they get into trouble and end up at Copper Lakes and Lincoln Hills. Thank you for listening.